Uh, from a macro perspective, um, as I've been saying for a while, it, it, in the old days we had, uh, or recently, we, we had just-in-time so uh, just stockpiles. Now we're getting just-in-case stockpiles as countries throughout the world, after what's happened, can't afford to let stockpiles uh, dry up. Obviously, as I said, we've had uh, massive floods in China last year, uh, and they've been in buying record amounts of, of U.S. grain, actually on a par with what the Russians did after Chernobyl, which has been very positive. You add in the, uh, the, the trade spat between uh, China and Australia with coal, where uh, China refusing to, to buy Australian coal, so they're buying from the U.S. and Canada, Colombia, uh, the Black Sea, um, in the meantime, Australian coal became very cheap, so Australia began importing it into India, which was South Africa's normal market, so that South Africa is now shipping to China. And, of course, coal is going to Europe. And you overlay that this time of year with, with the La Nina weather effects, which has ended up with a brutally cold winter, as you saw in, in, in your part of the world recently, uh, and, and throughout Europe, and in particular in, in China and, uh, and Korea and Japan, which has caught them short on coal. So in that respect, it's been the perfect storm. And going forward, uh, we're playing catch-up. Um, the the seaborne trade is still growing, and if we play catch-up from last year, it obviously declined, what, 1% or 2%. You know, no one's quite sure of the figures. And this year, if we then grow back again at 3 4% against fleet growth of a couple of percent, it's very positive. Um, you add in that congestion is growing. Uh, the, uh, the, the, the issues for some owners, the ESG... Uh, it's going to bring with older ships. We have high bunker prices, which is very positive. Uh, not that we have scrubbers, but for the rest of us, it means slow steaming. And all in all, I, I think it's a very, very positive out outlook, which after 10 years, I think we're entitled to. And it's, 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 it's now at the time of dry bulk shipping again. And yes, you never know, as you say, black swan events. And I don't want to jinx anything. But the supply demand figures, what's going on in, in the world... And, and all we can hope for now is that President Biden starts on some infrastructure spending, then it'll get very exciting.